What's up everyone, it's your boy Sir Faldine here back with another review. And in today's review, we'll be looking at the Jordan 1 Low Wolf Grey. Before this review starts, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell button. We are on the road to 1.5k. Thank you guys for all the support on the recent vids. Now let's get into reviewing these. The box we do have here is a black and gold standard Jumpman box. Going to the box label though, what we do read here is Air Jordan 1 Low Golf Wolf Grey Black Photon Dust is the color code, size 12. These did retail for 140. Putting up the box, you also do get this Nike Golf card. Uh, it says footwear warranty, Nike one year or two year limited waterproof warranty. So that is also really nice. I reviewed a lot of golf shoes in the past and they've all included this slip. So definitely a pretty Jordan nice one golfs out of the box and into my hands. These are really, really clean. They almost give me like a Dior vibe because of the colorway. Uh, but let's go around to the bottom. We do have here is a nice icy sole. Also made in that uh, golf grip traction. So these are only used for golf wear. Uh, as you can see right there, golf Nike logo. So that's super clean. Going on up, you get that white midsole. And then from there, you get hits of grays, light grays and black swooshes all around up the shoe. Taking a look at that back, you get the white wings logo in jump man right there. Really, really clean, super nice. At the back of this, this really does look like a Dior shoe. So really, really clean. Going to the swooshes though, you get a black swoosh and leather. This whole shoe is made in leather and I'll almost compare it as starfish leather. So really good. The toe box, as you can see, it is really, really soft just by me touching it. Super soft. It is not like your standard Jordan ones. These are really high quality. Going on up though, do get these gray laces. And then to the tongue, Jumpman and Golf in gray as well. The inside also in the insole, white Jumpman and white Golf. A uh, set of black laces. So that is also, that is it for the full review on these Jordan 1 Low Golf Wolf Grays. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about them. I think these are super icy, super clean. You get that icy sole, that gray hair right there, all around easy to match in a wear shoe for the golf course. Definitely a banger. You guys just saw the full review on these. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about them. Common fire or trash emojis. Personally, me, it's a super fire colorway on the Jordan 1 Low Golf. And it is the Jordan 1 Low Golf uh, with the three colorways that they did come out with, which was the shadow, the triple white, and then this wolf gray pair. Personally, I think the wolf gray pair was the best in terms of colorway wise and resale wise. Because when we go out to resale, right now they're running around 240, 250, and some bigger sizes. But I can definitely see this one going up to 300 to 350 in the springtime. The Chicago colorway coming out, and I think those will also do really well. But again, I think this one, being the most limited, might do the best in the long term. Plus, the colorway is super wearable. These just go true to size. That's it for the full review on the Jordan 1 Low Wolf Gray. Um, super clean colorway. Again, I really like how they did put the Jordan 1 Low into its golf uh, terms because it did come out with the Jordan 4 Golfs. Those are also really, really fire. So definitely a really banger golf shoe. So if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 1.5k. And hit that bell button. Now let's get on to seeing these on feet. Let's go.